Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. Broad keywords are like gasoline poured on fire in Google Ads campaigns. They can get the volume in your campaigns heated up pretty quickly, but they need to be used cautiously so you don't burn down your entire account. In this video, I'll share two quick tips on how I'm using broad keywords right now because it's changed over time and I'm sure it's gonna change in the future too. So make sure to subscribe to see how I'm using them next year or whenever I record another video on this topic. So the first tip is to never start new campaigns on broad match keywords. If you use broad match too early in the life of a campaign, you'll get a wide variety of searches that are likely irrelevant and will steal the budget from the more targeted searches that are way more likely to drive results. So instead, I usually start campaigns with phrase match and exact match keywords. I only use broad match keywords on mature campaigns. In this case, what I mean by mature campaigns is first off a campaign that has been running probably for several months. Over the first several months, you'll hopefully have built up a solid base of negative keywords. These negative keywords will add some guardrails around the wide reach of the broad keywords. And lastly, a mature campaign would have solid conversion data and be running on a smart bid strategy that's focused on conversions. Google has actually said that broad keywords work well with conversion-based bid strategies, and I found that to be true myself. The second tip is utilizing the 50-50 experiment built into the broad match keyword recommendations. With a few clicks, you can have an experiment running to test out broad match keywords on one of your campaigns using half of the budget. To find this, go to the recommendations tab inside your account. You'll need to find the recommendation that says add broad match keywords, and you might have to click on dismiss to find it if you've dismissed it previously. In my case, I need to click view two recommendations in order to see the individual campaign recommendations. From here, I can click the three dot icon on the right and select apply as experiment. Then you can just choose your settings or leave the defaults, which is what I do, and click create experiment to get the experiment started. So after running an experiment for 30 days, you should have solid data on whether or not the broad keywords are actually improving performance. Here's one example of an experiment I've been running just in recent weeks. You can see the conversions are up by more than double. The return on ad spend shown as conversion value over cost has actually more than doubled also, and the cost per conversion was cut by more than half. I don't always see results this overwhelmingly positive, but this is a very mature account, and I'd say there's a pretty good chance I'm going to be applying this experiment, which will then fully activate the broad keyword test using the full budget. I'm currently running these 50-50 broad match experiments on several campaigns across many accounts. I was thinking about posting the results in a separate video I can record later. If you think that's a video you'd like to see, comment below and let me know. In the meantime, check out some of my other videos on Google Ads and we'll see you on the next one.